Alright, so hello viewers and welcome to Cosmonautica. I'm your host, Bibidu Chu, and welcome to a space trading adventure game. So, um, today we're starting off uh, what is possibly a new Let's Play series, and we're playing a recently released Steam Early Access title that seems to be one of the most competent Steam releases yet. So, um, with the title Space Trading Adventure, I'd assume that most people know, uh, rather, you know, it is self explanatory in the sense that uh, this game is about trading. It's uh, it's one it's one of those games. It features spaceships, trading, and a bit of fighting on the side and all that. Um, but what makes this game stand out is that this is uh, this is a ten dollar game. Um, develop the developers here constantly post their ETA for the next update. And in addition, I mean overall, it is fairly highly polished just in general in its style and what it has available here. So um, I've played a little bit of it so far. I mean with university now, I don't have that much free time nowadays. But uh, starting off with the initial Steam early access release, we get the, the prologue here, there's a sandbox mode, and as you can see here, the campaign, which uh, implies that there is a story mode for the game, is uh, currently locked, and I believe this is currently uh, work in progress there. So, um, I figured we'd start off the prologue here, we'll do that inside this episode, or at least a portion of that, and then um, next time, perhaps jump into the sandbox for some time, and uh, see whether or not the story mode comes out in that 14-day uh, period. So, um, starting off, our tutorial is is uh, semi-narrated by this uh, lovely artificial uh, parrot. Um, I'm not gonna bother narrating these little slides just simply because they uh, they require a a, a uh, oral talent that is that that surpasses mine I guess is one way to put it so I think I'll just fast forward through these um, but once we do that for those who want to uh, read this of course feel free to pause the video but um, we'll just get into the game and we'll just um, see what the gameplay is all about shortly so uh, there we go Right, so... Um, I think the penguin here will give us a few objectives first and foremost. So, uh, like the game says, I mean, rather, like the subtitle says, it's a it's a space trading type of game, where you know, space space flight sim game, if you will, uh, in the sense that it's um, it's some it's 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 in there in the same in in the sense of say something like the X3 series or say something like the uh, the the Elite series, although uh, very very roughly. Um, this game more so focuses on say managing the crew and all that so first and foremost checking out the missions um, checking over what the uh, the little parrot thing actually wants us to do um, he wants us to hire a uh, a pilot starting off so we'll do that and um, this game you don't necessarily fly your ship around with all that but it's it's rather neat in the sense that you can manage uh, say your crewmen and how the crewmen interact on taught inside your uh, your little ship so um, let's hold let's uh, hire Joseph Brankovic here he's a uh, it's probably mediocre pilot but he's very cheap so let's grab him and for whatever reason they also have the religion listed as a stat here um so there we go we fired one crew man member our crew can consist of eight people and going forwards we'll probably need to get these people some housing and amongst other uh, hospitalities amongst our ship so we'll visit the shipyard and this is uh yeah one of the other things that you can do on the game that makes it really neat in the sense that you can um build your ships in this semi sort of a sort of a, I'd say, yeah, compartmentalized type of setup. So, uh, what I think we need here is that we need, where first and foremost we get the name of our ship, the type of ship it is, aka the layout of the slots here, but I think what we need right now is a cabin to give our guys some housing. So we'll put that right here, um, we'll apply that and that'll just let it build. Next up, we will need a snack, uh, rather we'll need a toilet as well, so I think we'll get this one right here. And naturally, I think we'll just put it right next to the uh, the bedding and all of that there, so we'll do that. You know, save on room, and following that, I believe what uh, the other thing that your your people need will be a uh, a source of food. So we're going to buy the insta -yay snack box here, <laughs> and I think we'll just put it near the pilot's uh, room right there, so we'll click that in. And I think the other thing that it wants for us to put in uh, here is just one cargo hold, so that's not too bad. We'll just uh, put in one like that, and that'll finish that objective uh, right on there. 
So there, now we have the basics of our ship set up. We can transport things and our people have their basic things uh, met. So uh, the game will tell us a little bit about doing missions and how to just in general profit in this world. Um, starting off, we have, uh, we're, we're assigned a fairly easy mission here called Hull O Hut, where we just had to deliver something to uh, Hinvig over here. And the reward is apparently exceptional. It gives us actually just an absolute ton of cash right off the bat. So we'll key in those. And well, that'll make another one of these journal entries. But from here on out, we can uh, we can effectively start on flying. So um, let's begin. Let's mosey on to uh, where we're, wherever we're supposed to go. So, uh, what the game will give us here is that it'll give us a lovely solar system, or, you know, a star system, if you will, to trade in with uh, some planets, or a lot of planets being in the middle, um, some ones being in the mid, in the, um, in, in the, in the middle portions here, and some rather dangerous positions out inside the, uh, the very rim here. Um, I believe eventually these things just sort of open up to the player, and uh, I think what the developer has done here is, is that he slated it so that um, later on, the game will only be limited to like one of these systems it'll be a galaxy and you can travel between them but for now it is only this uh so i forgot the planet that we were supposed to deliver that to but uh, i see it now here and all i really need to do is just find it on the map and these maps uh, rather these planets all have um sp special things about them this one's actually really nearby um so some things are like you know the traits what they have there uh what they produce and what they consume and it looks like it'll take us two calendar days to get there so let's travel and let's boogie over there and yeah um this game to me just uh it, it has that nice lovely art style that to me is uh is kind of reminiscent of like evil genius and all and i just absolutely love the style but um during these like travel periods what happens is that you just sort of go into like the ship view like here i mean of course events can happen you might be attacked and all that and different things will happen on your ship but uh your crew will just do their things they'll you know punch buttons like here and uh they'll just gradually go there so um, how this works is that it's uh, it, it does the Sims thing where you had to take care of your your guys's uh, different things or different needs to keep their morale high. Um, some of your guys will just have the basic ones, you know, health, fatigue, hunger, and I think you know toiletries there, right? Um, but some of the guys will also have some more intensive things um, such as entertainment, you know, fitness and all that. And how these all combine really is that for your people right here, um, your crew have a set of tasks that they do a uh, a single day. A, a single calendar day is made up of these four periods and during these periods they can do different things you know different work shifts and in addition to combat they can also uh, do different things there so uh currently i think we'll just speed this forward so we'll let him pilot the ship on occasion and um just do his things pretty much so um, that'll just gradually get us to our destination. I mean, one of the things that they can do, of course, is to add some button that'll allow you to just skip forwards too. But for now, I mean, the, the, the routes are fairly fast. So um, we'll just wait it out pretty much. And I think we passed the planet right there. Uh, so there we go. We, uh, we managed to arrive this area and well, there we go. We managed to get a large amount of cash and we can, uh, well, really just uh, go forwards from there. So the game opens up at this point. Um, it tells us a little bit more about the crew setup, aka we should probably get some more people on our ship and we should probably expand our um, ships, uh, say, say cargo holds and all that. So we'll do exactly that. So, um, we already have a pilot. We can go back down to the job market section here to buy a few people, or, you know, hire a few people. We don't necessarily buy them. And, well, afterwards, we can just explore the solar system here and um, see what uh, what we really want to trade here. So, um, let's see. We probably want somebody with, say, skills. And these guys have a large uh, variety of different skills. But we might want to get, say, somebody with, yeah, indeed, repairing and definitely cleaning. So, um, I'm going to see who we can hire here. Looks like we have Nathan Van and Ojina Jenkins which can clean and repair and it looks like they're yeah they're pretty good they also have some attributes here um, so say for example if we don't have somebody that uh, meets our demands we can actually go into this panel right here and we can use the job scout to find people um, who can do these things for us but the thing with this system is that uh, it costs a lot more than just hiring people here so uh, we have extra cash to spare it'll cost us 900 some to hire this guy outright and he'll take a, a maintenance fee of 17 per day which is fine by me so we'll get him on board and in addition i think we'll get uh the cleaner person as well so we'll get a nice crew of three people going on here so 
Um, now that we have that maxed out, we're all set up, we can uh, see whether or not we can perhaps do some trading here and there. So, um, let's see. So, uh, and the bullet on the on the bar, we're in a bullet and bar section here. We have a few different objectives we can uh, choose to uh, say, rather, you know, missions we can choose to partake in. But alternatively, I think I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna see whether or not we can perhaps uh, trade some resources outright. So, um, how do we do this? Well, we check out, uh, well, what this planet uh, takes in. And these planets, while they look like they're uh, more so, more or less, uh, say, built by hand, they're actually made out of the uh, various different system of traits. These traits will determine what this planet produces, and aka also what it needs, and it will uh, really just combine those into a mix of things, which will open, of course, some trading uh, varieties here. So, um, this planet produces some robots, some seeds, some computers, some data storage things, and waste and it needs a whole bunch of other things and in addition it also takes a few uh, illegal goods as well. Um, I think we'll just trade computers for now so uh, we'll check the nearby planets starting off with places as close as uh, possible for some computers and it looks like this planet does take them. So uh, what we'll do here is I'll hop back into the market, we'll pick up those say computers and we'll get those uh, moving. And these uh, different markets as you can see carries t five units of computers, we can carry Six, so that is a big issue for us and we'll just pick that right up hop back on over here and we'll start up the, uh, the three-day journey here and now would you look at that we have a nice lovely crew uh what should be three people oh i see these two people are, are for whatever reason merged together and they'll just do gradually do their thing so um yeah really the game just works out of there there's some some uh, some awkwardness right there with these two people just standing in that room but all right Either way, we can fast forward through this and our guys will just should gradually do their things and yeah, things will just do their, uh, well, go on their way. Right, so they can tell us a bit about um, how, to how to promote people, how some people require special rooms and uh, different things, but for now things are fine. So back to, uh, yeah, back to full, full speed, I guess. And these guys will just gradually do their thing and the cleaner lady doesn't seem to want to do her job too much, but that's fine. And there you go. Ooh, and would you look at that? The you got the nice sun appearing in the into the into view here. And oh, that's right. Yeah, we can zoom out of the ship and we can take a look at some of the surroundings as well. It's rather pretty. And there, this should be, I believe, the uh, the last leg of our trip here. There we go. Oh, and would you look at that? Looks like Nathan wants to say something, so let's see what he uh, he said here. So yeah, these guys will have different messages pop up occasionally, and we can tap through them to see uh, yeah what they say. And of course, uh, they can be assigned various tasks. I'm, I think I'll change this slightly so that they uh, they work for one shift and then they also take a, a break for one shift. Not that it really matters too much, but I think we'll just do that. And uh, let's see, we can also yeah do some research here. As you can see, this is a portion of the, of the game that isn't in yet. But now that we're here, what we can do is that we can go to this tab, we can sell some of these computers and we can sell them for a nice profit of uh, yeah right around 5,000 credits. So let's do that, key that in. And likewise, the cycle will just go on on and on where we can uh, of course continuously just uh, buy and sell you know buy buy low sell high as we uh, as as we would want to oh one of the things that i really wanted to do right now though is that ooh, there are actually some really difficult missions on the market here so i don't think we'll take those but uh i want to find a place with a shipyard as uh, some of you guys may have noticed back there um some locations have shipyards which uh, allow us to of course build up our ships and with that said it would be very good if we could probably make one of those uh, our next pit stop so that we could uh, probably get some more um same uh, cargo bays onto our ship. So it looks like there's one over here in Flapion, and that is, uh, I want to say the only one around, or actually no, there's one also here. So in that case, check on what they need. They produce robots, they take uh, a large amount of different stuff. Checking out our production here. We produce energy, waste, and, and erotic magazines. So hopefully they'll take the magazines, um, preferably like, used ones as well, but they don't. So, well, uh, we'll shift We'll ship energy to them, I guess. Right. 
So we'll go here, uh, we'll pick up some batteries, and we'll take six units. And these batteries seem to be pretty cheap goods, so we're probably not going to make too much profit on this run. But the, uh, the cycle goes forward, and we can um, move forwards just like that. Um, so that's that's the basics of trading. I'm sure all of you guys know that. But, uh, oh, actually, some events will pop up like this. So, uh, black hole down. Damn, why don't people learn to chew properly? The toilet got clogged up. What a mess. So we can say uh, we have two choices here. We can go with them. And um, I guess they just do different things there. The main thing, though, is I want to talk a bit about this. Uh, we have pretty much, yeah, just eight days to do whatever we'd like before the game gives us another objective. So there's that. Hmm. Right, so our guys are just going to do their thing. Hopefully Nathan over here will uh, start to repair the, the washroom here in some time. And would you look at that? There you go. So he's got that place nicely repaired. And the, uh, yeah, Jenkins actually sweeped that place up too. So now it's, uh, you know, back and operating stand. So that's good. And yeah, the game will just gradually pursue like that. The main thing, though, is that I would really like to uh, get our crew here back into a back into a shipyard because I would definitely want to build up the the ship here. And there, hmm, I think it might take an extra day, but oh well, we'll just wait until then. Ah, looks like some messages are popping up here, so let's see what these are all about. Right, so Nathan, what do you have to tell us? Uh, he 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 loves he loves the fact that we chose him. His morale's gone back up, but he had a few complaints there. Oh, I see. So the guys over here, they'll tell us a little bit about uh, what they need over time. And yeah, as uh, once again, as some of you guys may have noticed, these guys have different uh, needs for food, for uh, you know, toilet and hygiene and all that. Oh, and would you look at that? We are already here, so that's good. Sell these things off, we net a minor profit. They uh, they apparently do, uh, rather, they apparently produce a lot of robotics, so we'll probably hire us or get some of them. But for now, let's see what we can do about perhaps uh, it picking up a few more people. So, uh, with that said, let's pick up some... Hmm... Oh, let's see. That is actually really nice. We can pick up somebody who's good at shooting. So I think we'll do that for, you know, security and all. Not because we want to invade any people. But um, going from there, let's see whether or not we can perhaps buy some, um, some, some more cargo storage and some weapons to go along with them there. So, uh, starting off, let's bump up cargo storage by two here. And we'll make these nice and pretty. So we'll stack them up on the same area, just like that. And, oh, there we go. Right, so tell us our uh, little training sessions is up, so that'll be that. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll put this back in normal speed. And what I think I want to do here is that I want to, uh, hmm. I want to see whether or not we can perhaps pull, uh, buy a few weapons here to, uh, to help us out in, in combat in the event that we need to. So let's grab, uh, let's see what we can grab. We can grab a, a Twitch Fire turret. Hmm. In all directions, apparently, so this thing's kind of cool. But uh, what I think I'll, I need to do here is that I'll build some cargo bays over here to contain ammunition. And let's buy a... Uh, let's buy a... Huh. Let's buy a nice shielding module. Put that right in the back there. And I think we'll just arm our ship up here with a nice center uh, cannon. Perhaps a twitch fire turret here in the front area. Hmm. But it doesn't look like we can, which is rather unfortunate. I could probably do something like that, but I think that'd make it look really ugly. So I think we'll just, uh... I think we'll just leave the weapons like that, really. And... we're well, no, actually. Can I move this here and then put it there? Yeah, that works. So there. Now that we have our ship uh, nicely done up and all. I guess we'll go back and we'll see what that mission is all about. So let's see, calculating next objective. Please continue traveling in the meantime. So I guess we'll do another run. We'll buy however many uh, robotics we can afford here. We can only afford this time, so we have some extra space. Um, if I was particularly keen, I could probably fill that up with some extra stuff. But to me, that uh, that doesn't seem to be worth it. So I think we'll just bounce around, check out the planets once again, see where uh, which area takes robotics, and we. We'll uh, bounce some there, I guess. So, let's see. One place has to take these. Well, maybe they're just uh, really high up goods. 
Uh, nope. Hmm. Hmm, in this case... Ooh, that's right, we can also check some of these uh, smaller ships to see what they're up to. If only we had an antenna. I guess in this case, I think what I'll do is that I'll just get these uh, robotics and I'll just shuttle them to some nearby thing. And let's see how much we can sell them for, because they it looks like they might be like just a slightly rarer thing. Oh, and oops, looks like we have two shield generators here. So, oh well. At least we have double the shielding now. I wonder if it uh, has like that nice, you know, bubble shield outside and unfortunately it doesn't. But, oh well, we'll just continue doing this thing. And what do you have to tell us, Nathan? Let's see. Crew. Um, let's see. Okay, so he, yeah, he looks like he also has the, that hygiene stat, which he needs to keep track of. Yeah, some of these guys have that neat hygiene stat, whereas some of these guys don't. So, all right, so like, like I said, I mean, they have that portion in the game in there as well. Ooh, let's see what this is all about. Right, so Captain, how could we forget about uh, that mysterious container? It's about the time to reveal its content, alright? Outposts in the Elder Solar Ring are home to all kinds of exotic experts. And apparently my game froze here. So this is really weird, but I think we'll just save it here, and um, next time we'll just resume at this point. So, um, hopefully, like, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 1 inside our series, and, well, I hope you guys return for episode 2 shortly, when, um, well, when, when I get back to this point inside the game, and uh, hopefully it doesn't crash, uh, crash once again. So, bye-bye until then.